Hey everyone, thank you again for watching and thank you for your patience. So, unfortunately we do not have a verdict. In fact, we did not go to trial yet. Um, I know you guys have been very patient and looking forward to this update. I'm sorry I've been doing job interviews, but now I can finally break it down to you and believe me, it gets pretty complex. So, uh, let's get to it. So I got to the courthouse about a half an hour early. I saw Oscar's attorney and she made sure I got this email here seeing that Oscar would not be attending, which I got very last minute, but I did get it. Uh, basically, uh, Oscar's lawyer had gotten an exception, an exemption for Oscar to appear virtually. Um, the reasoning was kind of odd, but in short, it means that Oscar's attorney doesn't have a Zoom call with him, doesn't have him there. She's literally just texting him certain details as we went, which was a little bit odd. I would have loved to have seen him in court, like we've all talked about, but uh, apparently no, it was just via text, which uh, was very odd. So the judge sent us to mediation. Um, I can't speak about exactly what happened during mediation. That's not allowed. However, I can tell you what I went into the mediation with and the results of said mediation now. So why go to mediation? Um, growing up with uh, my parents' custody case, I'd always been under the impression that mediation is agreed upon by both parties long before you go to trial. However, in this instance, the judge can send you to mediation for a few reasons. One, if the case is overly complex, if the, 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 do the docket is really busy for the day, uh, or just if he, the judge thinks that it's better to do mediation first to smooth over the process and hopefully have a better result in court. And unfortunately, the judge heard, went told us right away to go to mediation, and without Oscar being there, I think it uh, definitely changed the way it went. So uh, unfortunately, I wasn't very prepared for a mediation to occur. So mediation in the state of Maryland works like this. You have a mediator, and he reads over the agreement that you're supposed to sign with the other party, and you go over what you guys would like to accomplish, evidence, uh, sentiment, and basically go over what you're trying to accomplish in the mediation, hoping to find a middle ground. Uh, in mediation, nobody is the real winner. Uh, you're both supposed to concede at least a little bit uh, to reach mediation, or you have to go back to the judge and tell the he or she that you know no agreement was reached and that we need to go to trial after all. So as you guys know, I sued for $4,950, which is a lot less than my total costs, expenses, and also lost wages, among other things. Uh, but going in, I didn't want to tip my hand, I would have gladly accepted the $1,000 offer they gave me if Oscar would have offered an apology. Uh, that's the biggest thing here, is I think he owes an apology, and I want to be able to offer at least some money, even $1,000 is something, it's better than nothing, to Robert, the motorcyclist. But unfortunately... Uh, that, I went in there with that being my, my bottom, and the, uh, the Oscars attorney went in saying $1,000, nothing more at, under any circumstances. Uh, again, I can't say what happened during the mediation, but I can tell you that we did not reach an agreement, which means we did not find a middle ground. So unfortunately, there you have it. Uh, after mediation, we went back to the judge and said an agreement was not reached. Um, I really, uh, again, I can't say what happened to mediation, but I was really disappointed. I really thought uh, there'd be a little bit more give and take in this whole general situation, and I really thought that um, that mediation could be helpful, but apparently no progress was made at all. Uh, we went in just the way we came out. So uh, we went back to the judge, and the judge gave us a continuance, and I need to refile certain things because my wording wasn't very proper in the initial lawsuit. I might even have to change it from small claims to an actual uh, suit, and I think my attorney needs to help me go over some strategy. Uh, in this case as well. I didn't, and also, I didn't even put down medical injuries on the uh, in the wording I used, so that definitely affected things, and I think uh, I should definitely polish that language and go at this again. So uh, again, I'm sorry for the delay on this update. I've been doing job interviews past few days. I've been trying to change my work schedule around because my grandparents, they need more care now. But uh, in short, yeah, I guess we're uh, gonna have a continuance and hopefully have another trial in the future. One more thing I need to point out. I have been told I am not allowed to contact Oscar and I don't intend to do so. However, if he was listening and if he did decide to apologize to me for his share in this accident and also it, uh, for hurting Robert, the motorcyclist, I would let this all go. I mean, again, I can't talk to him directly, but if he was listening and if he did decide to call me, he has my phone number and agreed to apologize to myself and Robert, the motorcyclist, I'll let this all go. I won't even take it to court. Um, the big thing here is just making sure that he doesn't do this again. Uh, it's a shame, and I'm, I, I don't want to give the guy too much trouble. I really don't. But Robert deserves at least an offer of some money, an apology, and if Robert chooses not to accept, I would like to give a substantial donation to Bikers Against Child Abuse. So 
I guess that's it for now, guys. I know it's really disappointing. You guys have been very patient waiting for a verdict, but uh, I'll let you guys know how things go once I have this continuance and I have it refiled. I'll give you updates as soon as possible. But until then, thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience. And I'll see you in the next one.